I am uh, going to tell a bit of my experience in the Amazon. And first, I'll start with complexity. Well, Amazon is a complex forest. It's a very complex environment made by soil and uh, rivers and human and non-human population. The Amazon is inhabited by humans for at least 10,000 years. And since the past 2,000 years, it developed very sophisticated societies who were interacting with the forest. And that's why we have this great biodiversity today. It's a product by the interaction of human and nature in the Amazon. There were complexity uh, societies that spoke different languages. Today in Brazil, there are more than 240 people, indigenous people, and they speak about 180 languages. It used to be a thousand languages. And these different people used to interact in a different way with their environment. Like the two indigenous people called the Kapoor and the Awa, who lives in the Maranhão state. The Kapoor, they, they plant manioc, and they clean a bit of the forest to plant manioc in it. And then, after it's abandoned, uh, it would come the Awa there just to collect babasu, coconut, that would grow up. That's just a simple example of different indigenous people interact with the forest. And uh, this great interaction created a biodiversity today. Well, that's the map of the Amazon, how it w used to look like a thousand years ago. We could, s we could see different uh, great societies living there. Uh, I have an Indian friend, and he's Shavanchi. Once I was there in his village, they all have the same haircut, and they have this village uh, in circle. And I was asking him, why you have that? Why, why, why? He was tired of my questions. And he said, uh, we are complex, like your anthropologist friend says. So you're not going to understand that. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand their way of life, but I, I learned how to respect, how to respect diversity. That's a Kayapoa village. Those are the Shavans. They were participating in a ritual here. That's the Zoe. That's the Ikpeng in the Xingu Park. They are really different one from another. That's a Bororo. This was a Bororo funeral. I've been in uh, a couple years ago. The, the funeral takes six months. It's a very complex funeral. Once a uh, long time ago, 50 years ago, the head of Brazil Indian Agency, Hondon, was about to die. And one friend, one Bororo friend, told him, come to our village, you must die here, because your people doesn't know how to take care of your body, neither from your spirit. I was in this ritual, and I was in the, in the hut, where there were all the Bororos living there, and the spirits of Bororo. And uh, suddenly I asked for a guy from uh, a Bororo from my age, what was going on? And he said, I don't know, I don't really understand that. Uh, I'll take more, 20 years to understand this part of the ritual. Uh, it's just some uh, very important shamans, like Kadagari, that knows how to, to work with uh, this complexity. And we don't know how to work with complexity. So what we are doing in the Amazon, we are simplifying it. So the current process in the Amazon is simplification. You can see the Kayapo land covered by forest, and the rest is pasture. We simplify the whole biodiversity of the Amazon, of the forest, to just grass, pasture, and one single species of animal, cattle. In one hectare of this part of the forest, you can find 380 different types of trees. That's much more than you have in Europe. The whole Europe may, may have around 10. We just cut them down and put pasture in it. And we think it's necessary. Also, logging, we see a tree, we see wood, logging, just for use, and not, not, n nothing uh, more than that. Uh, there is another shaman, Yanomami, called Davi Kopenawa. He really knows how to deal with uh, medicines from the forest, uh, the trees, the leaves, roots. And I asked him uh, also, how do you know that? 
uh, how produce the traditional knowledge? And he said simply, we ask the forest. We don't know how to ask the forest. We destroy it, we put soy in it, and we think we are producing. We may be producing, but archaeologists says that today we are uh, producing simplifications, different from the other societies that live there that produce complexity. Uh, there's a very interesting phrase from uh, Foucault that says, uh, we must free political action from all unitary paranoia and believe that what is productive is not sedentary but nomadic. You can see the river Xingu, it's a green river. We are going to build uh, a Belo Monte dam there and uh, to produce energy. So the river will be seen only as energy and not as a uh, water who floods this complex environment. The Claudio and Maria, they were invited to, to give a talk at TEDx Amazon. They used to live with the forest collecting fruits and nuts. They were assassinated by a farmer who wanted to put pasture on it. The Claudio used to say that the one who knows how to live in the forest it's why is someone wise. And Maria used to say that we can live with the forest, we can make money of it, business, but we must be patient and learn with them. Simplification may be necessary for our society at least, but simplification kills. <laughs>